welcome. My name is Sheep Thief, and today I'll be coming at you with a 1v1 replay analysis breakdown YouTube video 1 0 raked gameplay multiplayer commentary. Welcome to this online computer game gameplay replay analysis YouTube video. So, anyway, it's me, Sheep Thief, versus Maxel, uh, and he's playing the 82nd Airborne. And I'm playing the 11th Emerald Gev. There in French, I just felt like speaking like a frog. So over here, I've got a big spread of um, recon, fair amount of AA, a IHOC, and two stingers. And generally, my strategy on this map is to kind of prong through here threaten this, discourage a big build up out here, get in a city fight, <laughs> M1A1A calves on the edge. So we'll speed it up till it gets going. And off we go. So, um, a lot of recon for me, pretty wide stance for the, uh, for my opponent, Mr. Maxel. Um, looks kind of normal for a, uh, airborne, a lot of ATGMs out in the middle, um, a fair amount of recon, a lot of recon vehicles, I'm not sure what these LAVs are, so like the tanks, I guess. Uh, my LRS gets intercepted by a Kiowa, but... It skirts around the corner. BGS also gets like pretty lucky there. I do unload it, sort of back it off that way. And I do kind of see this uh, this big blob of of infantry. And my first purchase is a A10 Warthog. Some Humvees go down. A BGS squad goes down. LAVs show up, start causing trouble. I route an M1A1 over, kind of looking along this highway, but he has a lot of infantry stacked up in my in my point here. The ACAP is in a good position to harass this, but I'm getting kind of unlucky with my shots. I was firing on an airborne dragon. The, uh, the A10 comes in. Destroys one of the LAVs, does a lot of damage to this Apache. Apache goes down. Something else goes down. There's an AT plane that shows up. One A1A Cav is having a duel with this airborne dragon. It is low cohesion, so this is, this is good for us. I'm content to sit here. Uh, A10 comes in. I have this recon helo kind of floating overhead to help me see this. A10 does some um, damage. I got pretty lucky there, I want to say. Like, my rear, my side, if not rear armor, was pointing towards that F16. Maybe it got kind of disrupted by the AA, but I would think that I would take, that I would have lost that. Um, so, maybe a bit of luck. LAV into my back area. And so far, I'm not really panicking too much. It's just a plus one. Um, I was getting really triggered about the uh, the my um, commander because he was like not taking the points properly. It's kind of irritating. Um, but yeah, I think we did a fair amount of damage to him there. He lost a plane. He lost a recon helo. A few. Um, all of those LAVs were cleared up. Again, I don't quite understand what those are. Just like little armored vehicles, I guess. Right, an M1A1 forward, and so we're really kind of focused on, on shutting this down over here. Um, over here at some point, I know that I killed a AA. I think, I think that's coming. Um, so this, this M1A1 ACAV is is healing. I'm kind of just relaxing for now, getting a build up. I do have a Cobra coming forward. I have this recon helo to kind of observe. 
Um, by microing it, I kind of make things worse. Cobra opens up on the airborne. If I get too close, they can the small arm fire can um, start disrupting the uh, the helos. So I'm kind of trying to s do this intelligently. Um, a commander starts moving in to get this point, and my opponent I think is finishing up getting his points. I'm on A1 Abrams. Trying to, I'm trying to route it here. Um, I don't know if that's. Yeah, they they, they have AT guns. Maybe it's being a little uh, stupid there. Cobra finishes off an airborne. That's good. An airborne dragon coming into contact with coming into contact with the airborne dragon, but the cohesion is so low that we can just march this ACAB right up next to it. The commander comes in, and I guess maybe in retrospect, having some like one scout unit here, maybe one of the Hamas shoots in here to kind of see this land here, because he has a. I can see him coming in, like this is this is seeing it, but in the future maybe I'll cut this off a little better. Cobra opens up on the airborne, but now it's too close and now it definitely is gonna take uh small arms fire and have to back off. If not go down, I can't quite remember. His commander comes in and takes control of the sector. My recon helo is continuing to take uh Small arms fire, laser guided bomb. Doesn't get its ordnance off, must lose sight. He does shoot down my recon helo with a uh, small arms fire. Kind of an unfortunate loss in this situation. But now I've got high machines moving forward, so they can, they can, you know, sometimes the best way to get, figure out where the enemy is is just to march infantry at them. See how they react. Then I've got some supply over here to fix the helo and an A-10 over here to deal with the, uh, to put some, some damage down here. And looking at the points here, my opponent is definitely worse for wear. We capture those two, uh, bees. So they're kind of going back and forth. one a cav continues to fight here. I'm so confident here that I sent this m one a cav to go deal with the attack over here. And this F-15 kills both of my A-10s in one, in one go. So that was a huge loss. Um, I wish I'd sort of seen that uh, a little better. Yeah, this peaceful German town is starting to end up in flames. Another F-15 Eagle comes over and gets away with it. Um, high machines are moving forward. Vent 3, M1, A1, Abrams in here. A lot of these are pretty low cohesion. This Cobra's ready to go in a second. But my opponent has certainly lost a lot. Um, losing those those A10s is not a, is not a joke though. So this laser guided bomb comes forward. I'm going for something here. Maybe the LRS. No, the ACAV. I remember this. So he he gets a direct hit with the ACAV. This is with the ATGM, and in all chat, he's like really mad. He was like, "Are you serious?" And I, I know his pain, so I'm not, I'm not hating. I'm just saying, uh, I think he got frustrated by that. Um, like that is pretty ridiculous. What am I looking at here? Vasquez, lucky guy. Um, Hamish shoots and go down, I'm trying to solve it here. And one Abrams gets right up in their face and has to back off. One of an ACAB in their back, still shooting. Ah, I'm shooting ah. looking a little worse for wear, but we are slowly but surely clearing this up. One of an ACAB coming in the back, and this, this airborne engineer's unit is crazy. Like, it's so big. I don't think I've seen it before. Runs out of AT rockets. And the Cobra comes in and finishes up the last airborne. It's just the leader left now, but that is a pretty serious unit. Like, I don't even know what to say about that. They're all holed up in this house. Um, my M1 A1 ACAV starts to heal. And, yeah, in retrospect, this, this is going really well for me. First time I'm reacting to this, uh, this fight. 
How much you can go down to this crazy unit? Cobra comes up above it. Starts firing down. Watch the hammer shoots before it just happens. Um, Cobra runs out of pretty much all of it. Ammo. I have to go fill it up again. Bring the M1A1 take out forward to, to try to finish this off. Hammer shoots it back off. Brave airborne commanders. We get this back and stop the tick. Good recon coverage in here. LRS a little out of position. Gets opened up on by the airborne. I back it up. And we're looking pretty good. Like, we honestly, aside from the two A10s, we haven't lost too much. Like a Heimerschutzen or two, some BGSs or two. Um, and we're getting our tanks forward. LGB comes forward. All my stingers are out of uh, ammo. And he just backs it off, I guess. Uh, I think he could have gone for whatever he wanted to there, given that my stingers are out of ammo. So I just kind of need to reorganize a little bit. I was a little worried about someone coming over here. Um, oh yeah, at some point these guys killed, I think it's this. Or no, that's just injured. That's crazy. I didn't know that there was like a. Uh, well, these these German ladies killed a Stinger squad, so they should be commended for that. Flash engineers and airborne starting to build up over here. A lot of supply, pretty far forward. Not quite sure why. Um, and some mortars unload. And now I'm trying to figure out how I'm going to counterattack. Got a, I've got a pretty good tank build up, so I'm kind of thinking about just punching through. More AA comes in, kind of trying to heal, get everything figured out, taking my time. I, I do acutely sense that I've I've killed more of him than he has of me. And since he's an airborne division, like. Um, the likelihood of him attacking is low. Um, M1A1 Abrams comes forward and starts uh, putting some damage on the airborne. A ton of ATGMs coming up, coming forward from my opponent. LAV over here, kind of in a weird position in my opinion. Um, Still need to get ammo to these stingers. I'm really bad with that. Need to get better. One ammo Abrams and a tow start to have a bit of a fight. Done enough cohesion damage that I decided to just kind of leave it there. Um, finally, bring the stingers back to get ammo. Recon Hilo comes forward to help get vision. He's got a lot. Uh, again, not much. Uh, Anti-air. A lot of units kind of out in the middle of nowhere too. I think he was worried about more of a swoop down here than a push across here. Although maybe not. Um, supply goes down. Good kill. And when I went comes back, LGB comes forward and hits my when I went Abrams pretty solidly. It does not die, unfortunately. For any of you who are new to the channel, I have really bad luck with AA, so um, it's all it's all par for the course. Cobra's refueled. Heimerschutzen need more supply. Uh, M1A and A caps are fixed and moving back to the front, probably to my opponent's uh, dismay because of how close he came to killing one of them. These are expensive and good units. Definitely want to kill them. He's probably triggered. Um, mortars open up. It's 
so maybe a little bit of a newbie maneuver here on my part to um, hold back so much. But we do have we do have a nice big build up here, um, and so we do we do come forward after maybe uh, five minutes of of, uh, of building up. I decide to um, keep the M1A1 Abrams there. Um, Stinger opens up on my jammer helo. Pull back the M1A1 A calf. Tau goes down. Sniper moves forward. M1A1 Abrams backs away from this Tau. But it's actually going for the, uh, the A calf. Um, pop smoke and back off. Artillery starts to rain down on this area. Not good for me. Ow, ow. Let's see what it looks like to get. F16 comes forward. Kill a stinger. M1A1 Abrams moves over on this flank over here. Maybe a little out of position. F-16 Eagle gets heavily damaged, so we probably won't see it for a while, but we don't get the kill. Oh, maybe maybe it died. I, I don't know where that was. Um, M1A1 Abrams has a fight with this Humvee Toe. Definitely a good one. A good fight for me. We take a nasty hit, but um, kill both of those, so... As long as we pull it back and heal it, it's pretty good. Good trade. Good. Uh, it's, in fact, it's not a trade. Laser guided bomb comes and finishes the job, though. That tank was pretty far out of position. Definitely needed to move this stinger up. This IHOC up, maybe. This IHOC up. LRS move forward, maybe a little uh, excessively aggressively. I just moved the high machines in forward, honestly, more for scouting purposes. I, I don't know if this is good or bad, but these are nice, big, beefy squads. And they retreat on their own, which is kind of useful because um, they stay alive. Um, uh, Cobra goes down to the stinger, but we are we are with this time of shoots and moving forward. We are getting some good uh, hits with our tanks on these airborne's jammer helo. Takes a hit from the stinger, and it looks like the stinger runs out of ammo. Mortar fire rains down on the high machine. Definitely not somewhere you want to be. A helicopter comes out here. This, is, this becomes at this point. It's, this is a waste. I think I. I don't know if these are disheartened and falling back, or if I'm pulling them back. I think I might have pulled them back. One of my Abrams goes down to something. I actually don't know what caused that. So, starting to take losses, starting to get a little worried. This time it shoots in his mission forward, getting a valuable kill on this 18 GM. Maybe not a kill, but at least damaging it. LAV opens up on the high machine zone. We haven't taken the uh, point, but we have uh, done some damage, which is really what we're trying to do. We're trying to win this war of attrition. F 16 AA comes forward, and now it's a little out of position goes down. So definitely a bad air fight for us. This My opponent's air game is really good. Um, there's a guy bomb comes forward and M1A1 ACAV one hit again. Pop smoke pulls off. This M1A1 ACAV gets right in the face of this local region airborne. Pulls back into the smoke as I realize how stupid I'm being. This M1A1 ACAV, Vasquez, he's a lucky, he's a lucky bastard. Vasquez. Pulls back again to get healed. Unless he goes down to the... Over here, she might. Oh, he's a lucky bastard. Um, airborne goes down. And now my opponent's, like, position here is not looking so good. He's got close quarters infantry here, but that's not what he wants right now. He wants an anti-armor. Supply goes down. And one a cap takes a nasty shot. I pop smoke and pull off. Let the high machines in a BGS give me better information. One a Abrams pushes 
forward A-10 rocket gets hit with a, a nice stinger missile and goes down to an IHOC. So another big loss of points for my opponent. M1A1 ACAV continuing to fire. M1A1 ACAV over here getting hit by this Tau, which is in a good position. I'm not quite sure how it sees my unit here, but. Whatever. No, I can't. Alright. Hama shoots and go down. Engineer's flash go down. Good to trade for us. Stinger goes down. Continuing to degrade his, uh, his position. He does still have a lead on me in points. But we we're just we got we've been getting pretty lucky honestly watching the replay here. When I when Abrams gets stunned, we're right in the middle of a bunch of uh, mortar fire to uh, pop smoke to back it off. LRS firing on this airborne. Uh, stunned them on when Abrams getting shots off here. Airborne out of AT missiles. Healing a lot of my units. Hama shoots and can come up to the front. M1A1 Abram is just picking at everything that has to fire at the Hama shoots and comes under multiple M1A1 Abrams fire. M1A1 Abrams kind of in the middle of nowhere now. We have taken some infantry losses. This mortar fire is withering just non stop. Definitely wouldn't want to push into that. This is one of the right here. Abrams routes and dies to the airport. Good kill on this part, but at this point I'm sensing I'm smelling blood a little bit and kind of pushing forward, maybe a little recklessly. Airborne dragons come forward. One A1 AOCAV gets stunned and takes a nasty shot from the uh, dragons and I pull it off. Heimaschutzen barely winning out against his airborne. Good for the Heimaschutzen. Getting good shots off on the uh, these things. Laser guided bomb goes down. Start pulling out Pantagrenadier mar martyrs. Good way to hold your line once that kind of thing has been set up. Sneed comes forward and does kill an IHOC. But it goes down to uh, my other stingers, but it's always bad to lose an IHOC. When A1 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 goes down to All of this cohesion is just so low that it's, it's we can just sit here with the M1 A1 Abrams. I'm a shooting coming forward. Fire is everywhere. This this fight has been uh has been grim. Fighting continues. This once peaceful German town is a is a hellscape. But when Abrams comes forward, mortifier is chipping away at its cohesion. When even Acav freshly healed comes forward. Where did my other M1A1 ACAB go? There it is. So, yeah. Keeping him healed. Everything's going well. Fresh tanks coming in. And, uh, this is the last of his, uh, units here. Do go down, and he has lost the city. And at this point, I am free to s flood through this city. Um, Tau opens up. Milan start coming through to kind of cement my position. Although I I don't know if I'm I'm still trying to figure out how to use like Milan's and these these IFMEs and um, stuff like that more effectively. I'm starting to get it. Uh, these are the Milan, so you kind of want them at a, at a longer range. But I just I just wanted to push up and just use their machine guns for whatever we can. M1A1, M1A1 ACAV in a good uh, position here. 
get lucky there probably due to the cohesion drops. He's starting to walk into a wall of fire here. We're pushing like a spear. Straight through his line. Got a lot of stuff that needs to be moved forward, a lot of Milans. Um, I think honestly, in retrospect, just ignoring this point and going for this one is the move. Um, I've got a, a CV up here ready to come and take this when I feel like it's appropriate. And Monu and Acap continuing to inflict both of these. Just, just plaguing him. Probably all the worst seeing them just healed up all the way to full. <laughs> it's probably so mad. Here's Ramirez, Ramirez and Vasquez. Vasquez, Vasquez and Ramirez. Uh, this doesn't get much better than that. More airborne dragons go down to just this, this withering fire. I, th I think at this point what he needs is an air attack, but maybe he's out of air. He has lost a lot of airplanes. He's got this kind of arc here, but it's just not quite enough. And now I'm like in the back. Not to sound too self congratulatory or anything. Anyway, the uh one with this is one A when A cap is forward, so it's a great perspective. This one maybe not so much. Pretty close, how much she's continuing to get fire and these martyrs are uh, are putting the herd down, but now they're in a bad position getting hit by these towers. I'm starting to get a little worried about overextending here. One A when A cap gets stunned. Continue to fire, and he's just flooding infantry. And I'm trying to fix this. Uh, yeah, Milan's going down everywhere. Definitely a waste of points that you don't want to do. Um, I back up the M1A1A cav. I think all the way back here to get healed. More M1A1A1s. M1A1A rooms coming forward to replace it. This M1A1A cav keeps taking damage. Bastard as well. I get the CV under his point, getting the tick. His laser guided bomb goes down. Hyma shoots in and Pentagonadier Martyr starting to go down. We have lost, we lost way too many Milans right there. And at this point, I've got this blob of infantry here that I am quite worried about. Honestly, I think these mortars are a mistake because he has to be spending a ton on supply to keep this. This fire consistent like that. Where did my... Oh no. Did my other M1A1 ACAB go down? No, nope, they're both still alive. I'm shooting out of position. Go down to the airborne engineers. These move forward because we've got a lot of like... Uh, toes and stuff here that I just want to like kill if I can. M1A when Abrams gets hit at pretty much max range and still takes a ton of damage. But I've got a ton of Panzer Grenadiers here that if we can get vision on them, they'll like pick apart these uh these toes pretty quickly with their machine guns and rifles. And uh yeah. A wave of ATGMs comes forward on this Abrams. But it does reveal a lot of stuff for us here to try to fight M1A when Abrams comes up here to cover this this approach. And just this blob of infantry, uh, keeping them on the move, and they're just walking across the field. Definitely cool. Look at this. That's what I'm talking about. We got them to a stinger over here, I think. Yeah. They kill, they kill one cow. Now they're, they're just like demanding this field. Battered, ragtag. As the enemy air uh, or borders continue to try to fire at this, and one of Abrams gets almost killed here. The, the brave heroes push forward on the stinger, put it down. Over here, there's pretty much. I'm pretty much holding here. I don't really need to go any further. All that really needs to happen is that this whole thing gets shut down. Stinger gets eliminated. And no time to spare. Into the mortar fire. They go. Let's watch them. As they push through the bush. Definitely 
taking losses. We're staying on the move. Pentagon and use. What else do we have? There's only Pentagon and use left, I think. I think there were some stingers with them initially. Oh, and an LRS squad. That's sick, honestly. Very cool. So where's the LRS? There he is. Pushing through. Opening up on uh, Humvees and Taos. And now this flanking position has been shut down by these br this brave uh, this brave group here. Avenged all the dead martyrs. And uh, with this, we are now pretty much free to heal up this M1A1 Abrams and push forward. I'm a little worried about points because uh, he is still ahead and I don't want to draw. Pivads explode. We do take down the Humpy Taos. This Tau does finally go down. Let's look at this group. Absolute kinks. A10 comes forward, laser gun bomb about to go down, and it does fire at this eagle. And uh, as you can see, the game is almost over. I don't. I wanna. I wanna pause the game before it ends. So I hope I didn't spoil it for anyone. Pentagram grenadier martyrs do go down to this A10, but they they did their job. For real. Yeah, this A-10 is, is a problem. I guess it does, it takes just enough damage to, uh... be force evac And honestly, like, this isn't, um... It's not, like, over at this point, but my opponent, I think, is... a little fed up with some of the luck. And, as you can see, my M1A and a cabs are still alive. And uh, coming back to the front, and my opponent is essentially out of units. So, we come up to a plus two at eight minutes if we hold that, it's pretty much over for him. And over here, he pushes with his command vehicle to try to, I think, get like a little bit more done. But the dreaded M1A1A calves come forward, Vasquez, his arch enemy, you know, Ramirez gets the final hit, and I think that's the... My opponent had, like, was cursing the gods at this point, and I think that was his last, or no, there's one more CV there, but he does call it here. Uh, I'm going to pause it just to talk about some of it. I think um, my reaction to his rush over here with the A-10 Warthog saved me the game. I, I, I need to remember to do that sometimes instead of a laser-guided bomb. Uh, so... That is, um, that was good. That's very good. I I am pleased with my decision there. He did kill both of my A-10s with one F-15 Eagle, which was pretty frustrating. But I, you know, honestly, I I had my fair share of luck here with Ramirez and Vasquez in these uh A in these M1A1 A calves. Um, absolute kinks. Not gonna lie. just uh, holding down the game and uh, I think my strategy of, of not of, of just pushing straight through here you can basically th threaten two points at once is my philosophy so like your opponent has to kind of choose between building up here or building up here building up here is kind of risky because you're so cut off from every other point so if you just push through here you you have options, you have a lot of cover in here, you know, it's not easy for him to just kind of like waltz in there, like he get, they can have infantry really built up in there, but I think my strategy on this map is starting to crystallize a little bit. Over here I need to work on, like if the fight comes out here I'm, I start doing really badly, I, I, I am not very patient when it comes to this like forest fighting and ATGM stuff, much prefer just sort of popping in and out of cities, sending infantry forward trying to lock it down. Anyway, yeah, so he surrenders here. He said that he I won because of my M1A1 A cabs. He said that in the chat, and honestly, I have to agree. I think it was appropriate for him to surrender there. So I thought this was like a, a good game. Um, it was good, but I, I click on his name, 
and he okay so he's he's gone down he was rank 284 when I fought him so this guy is by far the highest rank person that I've defeated and so I'm very pleased with myself um, he's definitely good uh, I think I got pretty lucky with some stuff in that game but look at that he's got like a good KD um, He's got like what's my rank? Just for the record, I'm rank five thousand. So I've gone up about a, th a thousand points. I was at six thousand earlier today, so I guess I've been going up. So I, you know, honestly, I'm fourteen fifty five on the rating. He's seventeen hundred. So about a three hundred point difference, but you know, rank two hundred eighty four. I'll take it. That's sick. Uh, looking at the kills and losses, look at this M1A1A cab just absolutely destroying so much infantry. Look at that. Crazy. This one, I think, is... Oh, this is Vasquez. He's the, he's the lucky one. Honestly, he ate so much ordnance that he... It should say, like, ordnance, like, damage taken. Like, that was, that was what he was doing. Ramirez was uh, delivering the damage, and Vasquez was taking the damage. Uh... Yeah, all the M1A when Abram's doing well. LGB, meh, not doing great. Um, my opponent was really good with his air. Uh, IHawk, doing well. A Sneed, his Sneed was a real problem. Um, M1A and Abrams, all of them like just sort of taking out some units. I think the main thing was they just weren't dying. Those, uh, that group of Panzer Grenadiers and Stingers and that LRS squad were absolute kings. Um, so, yeah, this was, that was pretty much what was going on there. My opponent, yeah, I think this is the tower that flanked my push through the city that we took out with the pentagrenadiers and all that, so that one did pretty well, and this, this did well. He was good with his F F-15C, um. Honestly, his other planes maybe could have been doing a little better. Oh, this is the one, Gammon. Definitely a good pilot. Killed two A-10s. So, that's that. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next one.